Hello guys. We are doing a makeup video today. And yes, it is with Mara Beauty. I'm excited for this because all of these products are very natural. They don't cover things up on your face. They just really kind of enhance, I guess you could say. And the products don't like bulk on. They really just go on easily. You can kind of layer them, build on them if you'd like. Um, so I've tried them all a few times now and I'm finally ready to show you how I put together my look with all the products. So I thought today would be a good opportunity to do this. I do have a little visitor, but that's okay. And um, there is construction going on downstairs, so if you hear anything, I do apologize. I think it should be fine, um, but we're gonna get started. So I'm already wearing all of my skincare products from my morning routine, but there is one product that I wanna show you guys on camera on top of my serums, two serums, and my moisturizer. And that is sunscreen. I feel like it's very necessary to show you guys the sunscreen because it's summer, summer's coming, it's spring. You should wear sunscreen all year round anyways, especially if you live somewhere where it's sunny, but even if not, if you're going outside, probably wear sunscreen even if it's overcast and you've heard this a million times, I know. But this one here by Supergoop is one that I just got. It's been raved about and it is amazing. Um, it's unseen sunscreen, so SPF 30, and it literally goes on clear, which I'll show you in a sec. And I'm gonna use this as a base before I put on anything else. I don't think any of the products in the Merit Collection have SPF because they are clean. Um, might not be true down the line, but just for now, that's what I think I picked up on. So it's good just to have this extra SPF 30 of your knees. Um, just to keep your skin super, super safe. All right, so first product, other than the brush, is this one here, which is a Perfecting Complexion Stick, and this is the shade Accru, which should be good for me until I get like a wild tan. Um, but for the time being, I don't have a tan. I actually even have tanning water on my face right now, and it's still, I still look quite pale. So the way this works is that you can wear it as a concealer or you could wear it as like a foundation, but you just put it on the spots where you need coverage. Um, I'm gonna do a lot of my face because I'm going to shoot some content and I don't wanna have any like blemishes. And then I just go in with this brush and kind of just in the circular motion. It really helps that my skin is moisturized underneath because that way I can kind of blend it in a bit better. Um, and if I had a face oil, I would have probably put that down first, but I still don't have a face oil and I'm waiting for it to come in because I ordered the one by The Feelist, um, which is Shea Marie's line, and I'm excited to try it out, but they don't ship to Canada, they don't ship to the UK, so I had to ship to the US and then I'm getting it shipped here. Which is complicated, I know, but it was the only way to do it really. Because I am going to take some photos, I'm just gonna add a little bit of a concealer under my eyes, which is this one by Hourglass, and it's really good. It's in shade Fawn, um, and this is the Vanish Concealer, I believe. Really, really good coverage, and I'm just gonna add a bit. Before we get into all this stuff, I'm just gonna do a bit of bronzer because I do not have a bronzer by Merit. Um, so we're gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow for the 15th time on my YouTube channel. And we're just gonna focus in here and kind of just go around. This is honestly the best product ever and it's so portable. So we're gonna do cheeks first, and I'm gonna use the terracotta cheek color. I liked it, and I picked this because it's it's like a more I mean it's like more of a terracotta, more of like an orangey than like a pink red, um, which I thought was nice for a change, kind of good for that summer glow. So I just put it on my cheeks here, and then I'll do a bit under my eyebrow, and then you could probably just put it on your lips as well. Mm. Mm. But I do have a lip color that I'm going to use, so um, I'm just going to rub this in with my fingers. Now 
to get a little bit of that glow, we have this highlighting balm stick. What's really great is all these products come in like a non-liquidy form other than like the lip gloss. So it's really nice that it's like easy to like bring around, easy to apply. So this here, I mean, it's nice because you see there's already a glow from the balm. Um, but this here, I'll kind of like apply like this under my eyebrows again, obviously. And then I'll do the center of my nose. Ooh. And it's nice because it's so natural, you know? I even put I even put this on when I don't have like anything else on. And I think for the summer, just to put on when you have a tan with maybe some freckles, real or a faux, um, if you guys have a freckle pen, is gonna be such a nice look. Such a nice natural look. And it's really nice that we're embracing like natural beauty these days, you know? And this is in the shade Bounce, which is just like, sort of like a moonstony pink blush color. Next up are brows. Brows in brown. This is their brow stick. It's super sleek and it's tinted. It's a tinted gel. I use it by itself or with other products to be honest because um, sometimes I like to do like a super intense brow um, that's like stuck to my face. Like my, all my strands are like stuck to my face. And if I do that, I'll probably use like a different more like waxy type product. But this is great if you want like a two in one to brush up your brows. You don't want to fill them in with a pencil. I'm sure you could also, but I just find with my brows, there's no need because they are quite full. Then we have this really, 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 really good mascara. So this is the Merit Mascara. It's in perfect black. I always wear black mascara because I want my eyelashes to really like look long. Cause they are long, but the ends are blondish. So I like to like get the full length with just simply adding mascara. Um, what's really great about this mascara is it's very non clumpy So if you want a very natural look, I love it. If you want something, see this is the brush. If you want something more dramatic, I would say use this as a base. The one that I've been using with that is actually this one by YSL, um, the Volume Effect Mascara. So I'd say this is lengthening and then I would add volume on top. I can try and do this on camera. Okay, so this is the look with just the Merit Mascara. And I'm just gonna add this on top, off camera, to show you guys the difference. So that's it with like a more dramatic effect. And now onto our last step. I had left it in my purse, so here it is. I just want to go get it. It is the Tinted Lip Oil in shade Eau Natural. And again, really cute little packaging. To give you context, this is how small it is, like in comparison to mascara. And it's so hydrating, it's so nice, and you don't need a lip liner to wear it. This is more of like a corally color, I would say, on me, on my lips. Um, but yeah, it just looks so nice, so natural and I think goes really well with the blush color. So this is the Merit, pretty much full face of Merit, plus two products look, and I love it. It's so natural, like I said. Um, again, you could layer on more bronzer if you wanted to make it more dramatic, add some eyeliner, eyeshadow, but I really like this for just every day. It takes less than 10 minutes and it just creates a really nice look for summer. So thank you guys for tuning into this video. I'll see you in the next one.